billionaire Mackenzie Scott just donated $2.74 billion to charity. Does she have the generosity gene? Hello and welcome to another edition of Shine 365, where our job is to help you live a better life. Today's article review comes from Forbes magazine. It's entitled, Do You Have the Generosity Gene? by David Carlin. Gratitude and generosity are critical leadership attributes. And billionaire Mackenzie Scott, by donating $2.74 billion to charity, is showing that leadership characteristic. She realizes that by giving some of the money that she has to these organizations that help the arts and help against racial discrimination, she's improving other people's lives. If we skip down to the science of generosity, we read that in his book, Give and Take, a Wharton professor, Adam Grant, explored how generosity managers employee generosity impacts performance. Grant found that teams led by a giving and generous manager are happier, more effective, and more productive than other teams. It is hardly surprising that treating people better makes them happier. What is fascinating, though, in Grant's research is how the generosity trickles down. When a manager is more generous, employees work harder and provide significantly better customer and client service. Generous employees are promoted more quickly than their more focused peers. The benefits of generosity extend well beyond the workplace. People who are generous are physically healthier on average. And this makes sense. If you're helping others, if you're pulling people up rather than bringing them down, then you get more fulfillment in your life. You're healthier and you're happier. It all comes together because when you give a gift to yourself, you're only helping yourself. But when you're giving a gift to others, when you're donating money to others, when you're donating your time or your expertise to others, you're bringing others up as well. And that gives you much more satisfaction than just helping yourself. In fact, the whole idea of this podcast, Shine 365, is to give and help others. It's to put ideas out there that can help better people's lives because together if we all get better lives we all come up together just as we can all go down together if we make poor choices if you're climbing up the ladder of success you want to reach down and help pull someone else up and together you will be that much stronger because you can only do so much on your own and when Mackenzie Scott donated her billions of dollars to these organizations, she realized that she couldn't do this on her own, but she did have the wealth and the backing to help these organizations help pull other people up. And in doing that, she is becoming happier and she is leading a more fulfilling life than if she just spent the money on herself. Generosity has lowered levels of stress hormone cortisol, which has been linked to a variety of diseases. In a remarkable Harvard experiment, they found that generosity can actually make you happier. Researchers gave subjects cash and they asked the subjects to purchase a gift for themselves or give the gift to someone else. The subjects who spent the windfall on someone else were more satisfied and remained happier for longer than those who spent the gift on themselves. It's scientifically proven. You gain more satisfaction from helping and sharing something with another than just helping yourself. There are many ways to be generous. Mackenzie Scott, she has billions of dollars, but she's doing more than that. She's donating her time too. We can donate our time to organizations. We can donate our expertise things that we've learned over the years, we can give back and share that with other people who may not have the same experiences that we have. We can be generous in showing appreciation for others. We can be generous by providing constructive feedback. There's all kinds of ways to be generous. We can be generous with our knowledge. Think about your workplace. Consider how you can give more to your colleagues. 
Everyone can give a smile to their coworker. Everyone can help a coworker if they need a ride home. And when you do that, your generosity comes back to you because when you're in need, they're going to be the first ones to reach out and help you as well. Not all of us are billionaires. Not all of us are millionaires, but we all have things that we can give to others. And that's what this, that's really what this shine 365 podcast is about sharing knowledge, getting in discussions, sharing techniques and ways to improve our lives so that we can all get better together. Please, if you enjoyed the podcast, give it a thumbs up, share it. We do have new podcasts every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We'll see you next time on Shine 365.